Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might explode from one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, you got anything bad to say about Bowens? <laughs> hey, yo, look. Hey, TNT is going to keep it a buck with you. I'm just waiting for Boeing to bottom out so I can buy in. All right, fam. <laughs> I don't want to let you know too much about my personal life. But, yo, I, TNT plays stock market a little, a little bit. I know Jonas does. We both just waiting for Boeing to bottom out so we can buy in. All right? They're done for. Can it go down to a dollar? They're done for, man. So. Have you seen? It's dropped and dropped and dropped. Either way. Anyway, so so we did a story a few weeks ago yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, about how there was a whistleblower um, for uh, for Boeing, and yeah. he went to go do a deposition, mm-hmm. and uh, and he did a whole day of deposition, and then he was supposed to do a second day, and then he ended up killing himself in his truck that night. Yo. <laughs> Well, that's crazy that he would do that. Epstein, you know what I'm saying? Holy crap, he killed himself. That's crazy that he would do that right before he was supposed to testify. After he already testified a day. Wow. So crazy. Insane, so, man. That's, you know, that's an insane coincidence. Yeah, I know. So now there was a second whistleblower. Whoa. You mean another person came forward? Another, pe- another person co- uh, collaborating. You mean they're not absolved of all their atrocities? The first guy's story? Mismanagement? Yeah. So this guy... um, it's he all of a sudden caught the flu uh no pneumonia and was after getting a in a suffering a stroke following a MRSA infection i'm sorry excuse me he was only 45 that was a lot wait there was a lot going on he there. okay he got a he got, he a got MRSA, MRSA he got MRSA which is a, a really bad infection yeah like, yep 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 is that is that blood infection? No, that's like open wound infection, right? It, yeah, it can it, it kind of manifests as that. Yeah. Then he ended up catching pneumonia and suffering and a he stroke. Got pneumonia, and then had a stroke. So pneumonia is a pulmonary infection, uh huh, which is for the lungs, which yeah. could I mean, which could inhibit the uh, the central nervous. I, I mean, look, pardon me, I get it. But then a stroke. Yep. Fam. That's well, a lot of like lines. Well, but then his mom came out to say that he was 45 years old and had been in good health and was noted for having a healthy, healthy lifestyle. So it isn't like this dude was slamming quarter pounders. He was known to be healthy. <laughs> and all of a sudden, and then he, it's like, and he took a turn real quick and died. Wow. So, so they have two guys who are willing to testify against them to say about how they skirted safety measures. Yada, yada, yada. You know, and just bad the, shit. Both of them end up dying. And they end up dying. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow, wow, wow. You know, people, wow. I don't know if they joke, but, you know, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of, a, I guess, a running joke huh. that, like, if you go against Putin in Russia, you end up falling out a window. You know, there's been a lot of guys in Russia who just. Fall out of windows. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, like, I can't remember what she went by in the podcast, but, you know, like fall out windows and die. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. De- defenestration, Jonas, that's what they call that. Oh, really? Yeah. Being tossed from a window is defenestration. Yeah. No, no, no. They aren't tossed. I mean, they're being tossed. They fell out of nah, a window. They're man, clumsy. Man, no. I like, feel like these two whistleblowers were tossed. I think that there might be something there was some there. defenestration going on so now look don't you, i don't want i don't want boeing coming from me because i'll I'm say easy. why don't you tell us how you feel about boeing i'm not i'm easy to kill just believe me i want to <laughs> invest i want to invest in your company i want to invest hey i'm just waiting happened, i'm waiting i love y'all i'm about to i'm about to put, <laughs> put a little bit in there you know what i'm saying but honestly it's like do i want to invest in what could possibly be like fam this is feeling like some mob shit right i mean like isn't it the, here's the thing yeah the I am not I am not a conspiracy theory guy, like I'm not the guy who's like the government's watching you. Nah. Now, granted, I don't want smart refrigerators, but it's not because I think the government the government's monitoring me. I just don't want to hook my shit up to the internet. Yeah, like, but there are people who are like, I don't want it because the government. Yada yada yada. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, to have a, a, some some coincidental things like this happen and not be like. Is somebody killing these? <laughs> you know, I mean, the coincidences are just too uncanny. Like, 
Like, oh. that And that's the problem, man. It's like, when you think about it, it's like, what are the chances? Now, I was just Googling that according to a wise voter, the United States it has the third highest number of deaths per day in the world with about 7,974 deaths per day. Really? Wow. Yeah. 7,000 people a day. So that's about 332 deaths per hour. All right. Okay. So now that's a lot. That's kind of crazy, honestly, when you think about it. But what are the chances that the whistleblower, two, two of them, Right after they decide to talk, they die. Is like Ashton. That's like lottery. That's like lottery number. It is probability. Okay. So to be the one person out of seven thousand that dies in a day, yeah, that is one percent of one percent chance. So like you take one uh percent -huh. chance, and then you take one percent of that. That's the chance that you have to be one of the people dying that day. And so, and if you do that, to what? have two people who were involved in the same case to the, to the second power to die unexpectedly, like it, I mean, it, mm. it's, it's like I said, man. And most of those seven thousand is sick. It's to the point where I believe is that, like I said, when we were talking about the Diddy case, and we were talking about the Trump shit, I'm sure that the FBI is on the case. Because the shit is looking insane right now for Boeing when you have two whistleblowers come out and they both end up dead. That I mean, shit's insane. It's it's a very strange coincidence. You've got you have to be on that. If if that happened, fam, if two of my like ex wives ended up dead, they're coming to talk to you. <laughs> like, come on. They're coming to talk yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. If like if they're you were if you were if you were going like say like they were like oh TNT hit me and you're going to j going to court and both of them just end up dead all of a sudden they're gonna come talk to you and be like hey why did two witnesses in your case end up dead? I I like the example. I don't like that I was the subject. <laughs> I do. I do like the. There was well, you a just good. Said, you just said my wife. Yeah, so absolutely, like, absolutely. Right. Like yeah, or it's like or it's, yeah, yeah. You're up for murder, and there was two people that watched you murder somebody. Yeah, and just, like they end up dead before your case. Like definitely just turned me into Mike Tyson real quick. <laughs> just OJ Mike Tyson, just real real fast. Well, like so, like I you would it, think yeah that someone's going to talk to Boeing. John Boeing is in trouble. I'm sure, and that, and I mean, and that speaks to the Suzy fact. Q Boeing. It's just, it, and it's hard for me to just like. I can't condone that type of behavior, nah, man. man. It's very, it's very sickening to me when people use uh, their power and influence to manipulate others well, and just like <laughs> casually throw away lives like that. Like those were people who had families and they had like pro probably well, children. Right, but the thing it's is, it's disgusting to me that you could do that because you want to save a dollar because you've been there's flagrant so with your, much with your, to lose. Like it's like it's like when po political things happen and people die or like what there's. There's so much to lose on the side of the powerful people that eliminating someone who quote no, unquote doesn't not, matter. They're just a blip. In there's the, not in, so much to lose. That's the problem in the in the. In well, the in mindset. their mind, there's so they lose their there's power, no, and that's no, what they want. No, they lose their money. They lose their money, and it, and there's a problem when we value money over the the life of a of an individual man. That's the Hallelujah. fucking problem. That's the fucking problem, man. Is that money is valued over the human life man and it's like well, you'll, you'll go out of your way to disenfranchise to make it difficult to, to, to just make people's lives harder so that you can make an extra dollar because it it fits some sort of fucking like insane model that you have where these people are oppressed and they spend more money in this venue the, or the perfect uh the perfect way to prove that is car recalls yep is it gonna cost more to fix the cars or is it gonna cost more to pay the lawsuits from all the people getting fucked up in the cars. Fair enough, man. And whatever one is less, that's what they go with. And guess what? Rich people don't even drive those cars. Right. They're driving high-end cars that don't have those problems. Look, I'm not about eating the rich, Jonas, but you know what, man? F f eat the rich that fuck with us. Oh, I didn't realize AOC was in the room with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tits now? <laughs> <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for joining us. Is that a tits joke? <laughs> TNT. It was the eat the rich joke. We out. <laughs>